I voted for Trump, and I think, especially in this, like, day and age, it wasn't really a good choice for me. Like, I couldn't really figure out between the two, because I feel like this year specifically was a very, like, clashing and very dueling kind of, like, area. But um, in general, I think, like, the Republican Party itself fits more of my values. You know what? I'm just kind of that type of person. I'm going to move on with my everyday life. I, uh, you know, if Biden wins, I wish him the best in, in his party. And life goes on. Yeah, it depends. I think if Biden wins, I think there might be some. I think Trump, it's not the Trump supporters that, you know, are going out and do all the damages and such. So I guess it depends on who wins as to whether there's going to be uh, uh, unrest or something. The lines have been um, pretty smooth sailing for the most part this morning. There haven't been no extra long lines. And once the line got started, everything just went smoothly. I am a returning citizen and I got my rights restored. I was working with the FRRC and um, I got my rights restored and this is my first time voting. All my fines and fees were paid and uh, I got a chance to vote. So this is really important to me and I think it should be reported, very important to everyone else that's around that can vote. Since I work so much, I didn't have time to early vote. But my friend pressured me. She was like, oh my God, Layla, you have to come out and vote. Because so before work, like right now, I voted. It was super easy. You know, I thought it was going to be hard, but it wasn't. I, I believe that Florida people are going to step up on the plate, you know, and do the right thing. I believe that, you know. And, um, even it's so many of us and different races, but the main thing that they need to just come on out. 